Today we'll be taking on Lesson 16, GY521 Module. For this project we'll be needing the Elego Mega 2560R3, a GY521 module, and four F to M wires. Let's get started. So the lesson objective for us today is to get serial monitor feedback from the GY521 module. So the module itself contains a MEMS accelerometer and a MEMS gyro. The accelerometer measures the acceleration forces acting on an object in order to determine the object's position in space and monitor the object's movement. And the gyro measures angular velocity, which in layman terms is simply a measurement of speed of rotation. These sensors are also used in self-balancing robots, UAVs, and smartphones, which I thought was a pretty cool little tidbit. For the wiring diagram, we'll be using the 3.3 volt pin connector, the ground pin connector, the SDA and SCL. The SDA stands for serial data connector and SCL stands for serial clock connector. Uh, these two connectors allow us to use I2C, which is more or less a serial communication protocol. So data is transferred bit by bit along a single wire. Now for the code itself. First, we import the library catered to the lesson plan. That will be uh, under sketch, include library, add.zip library. We then go and look for our uh, main folder, Elego, Elego Mega, yup, yup, yup. Click through all of the prompts, wait till we find code. And yep, lesson 16, we select this uh, library.zip folder, open, and well, I already have it, so. Next, we set up a constant integer for the address of our GY521 module. This is so that we can set up a I2C uh, connection with that module. We then set up a constant integer for the I2C sensors. That's the ACX, ACY, ACZ, TMP, GYX, GYY, and GYZ. So each of these control a, a sensor on the module itself. The ACX is the accelerometer's x-axis reading. The ACY is the accelerometer's y-axis reading. The ACZ is the accelerometer's z-axis reading. TMP is the temperature sensor. GYX is the gyro's x-axis reading. GYY is the gyro's y-axis reading. And GYZ is the gyro's z-axis reading. We begin the transmission process with wire.begin and wire.begin transmission. This will establish a connection to our MPU address or our GY521 module. Wire.write0x6b is the register that allows the user to configure the power mode and clock source, <clears throat> and we'll be needing that as well. Wire.write0 will set to zero and it'll wake up our module. And this will end our transmission, but it'll keep our module awake. And we'll begin to receive feedback at 9,600 bouts. Um, pretty much we're turning on our serial monitor to receive information. Now in void loop, we begin another wire transmission. This time we begin writing to the 0x3b register. This is just one of 14 registers we'll be requesting. And in the next code, we won't be ending transmission with this. We're going to keep writing to it. And then we're going to wire.request from and the address, true. Uh, and we're going to request a total of 14 registers. Now, this is the 14 registers that we're going to be requesting. The request is only set at eight bits. So this line right here sends it at 16. And each one of these is just a register that you can find in the official documentation of the module itself. After we request all 14 registers for our sensors readings, we can then start to print them to our serial monitor and receive information on them. Okay, with that out of the way, let's build it.